Hello. This video is one of a series of lectures for the distance education course entitled Woody Landscape Plants, a component of the Prairie Horticulture Certificate Program. This video is the second of the series that explains how to use a dichotomous key. In the first video, we went through how a key works and how you can actually use a key. In this video, we will apply that knowledge in that I will provide several photographs of nine different plants and you will be asked to use this particular key which you will be uh, given either through the angel site or I can email it to you if that's better and you can use this key and follow along and try and key out the particular plants that I will be showing. Basically just to review, this key contains a lot of the information that we covered in an earlier video where we talked about the characteristics of plants. Things like leaf arrangement, types of leaves, whether deciduous or evergreen, arrangements such as opposite or alternate, whether the leaves are compound or simple, whether the, the fruit is the type of fruit that you have. So all these kinds of characteristics can be put into a key. No two keys have to be alike. It depends on what characteristics you want to put in and you have to decide what plants you want to put in. So if somebody makes a key, it's rather arbitrary in some ways what goes into the particular key. Just to refresh again, you start out with a single, <coughs> or one, with a number on the left hand side, usually one of two choices. On this particular key, it doesn't show stems not woody, but it shows stems woody. And then this takes you to the right hand side where there's one number, one unique number uh, that you can choose or if you've already identified it, you recall you can you actually put the species name in, in there. If it goes to a number such as number two, then number two means that there's two choices of number two that you have to go back to the left hand side to look at. In this case, the two choices for number two are leaves deciduous or leaves evergreen. So this is the key that you will use to try to key out the following plants. So here's the first plant in the series and what I will do is <coughs> I'll show the pictures and then I'll show them again so you'll have two chances and of course you can always stop the, the video and, and replay it. So one of the first things to do to try and determine whether it's the stems are woody in some ways is to determine is to look at some of the pictures or in the case of a real plant you can go out and look at the plant and determine whether it's woody or, or herbaceous. So the first question that you would ask in your key really, and I'm going to, the first two plants I will give you some hints of the kinds of questions that you would ask. For the last seven you'll just be on your own. I'll show you the pictures and it'll be up to you to explore the key and see if you can figure out where you, what steps you take. And keep in mind that if you go down the wrong way on a key you can always sort of back up and, and start again because you might get to the wrong place. So the first question is where the stems are woody. Then you must answer the question whether or not, or the next logical step is to answer the question whether they're evergreen or deciduous, this particular plant. And this particular shot should give you lots of information to determine that. Then you can determine, the next question is to determine whether the leaves and buds and the axils of the leaves are arranged in an alternate or opposite fashion. So here's a picture that will help you with that. And then you can ask the question, are the leaves compound or simple? Keeping in mind that uh, simple leaves usually have a bud in the axle. You can't really see it here. Um, but you can sort of tell from this picture, I think, what kind of leaves you have. And finally, uh, you, in this particular example, you can also, from these pictures, determine whether the leaves are lobed or not lobed, which is in your key. That's one of your, your possible uh, choices. So just to repeat that, there's the summer and winter shots. A shot that gives you some idea whether or not it's um, the, the arrangement of leaves, whether the compound are simple, and whether of course they're low. Plant number two, the summer winter shots. Again, helps you determine whether stems are woody. I think it's fairly obvious. And also determine whether it's deciduous or evergreen. This picture gives you lots of information about whether or not 
uh, what these are opposite or alternate in terms of the arrangement of leaves. And if you take a close look at this picture, you should be able to determine whether or not you have compound or simple leaves. Just to review, summer winter shots, shot of, of a shoot, showing arrangement, showing the type of leaf. Plan number three. <coughs> summer and winter shot. Here's what a the shoot would look like in the winter. And take a careful look at some of the circled areas so you can get an idea of, of things like leaf arrangement and, and uh, types of leaves, that sort of thing. So it gives you a pretty good idea of what kind of arrangement you have. This gives you a pretty good idea of the, uh, the fruit type, and you can see that uh, showing that this is the angle between wings that we're referring to in the key. Just to refresh, we've got these shots should help you with things like uh, you can see that if you look closely, you can see that that's showing that area, and you can see that these things are called buds, and here's part of the leaf, so hopefully you can determine all the characteristics from these pictures. Plant number four, summer and winter. There's a picture that shows more detail about the leaves. The arrows point to individual leaves, so these are individual leaves right here. Here's the fruit. The fruit before maturity and here's the fruit when it's pretty much mature and, the, and the open, it's opened up. Just to refresh, summer and winter, leaves, fruit structure. Plant number five, summer and winter shots again. picture that shows the base of the leaf. This is a leaf petiole here, just in case you don't know, and here's the stem. It shows the base of the leaf. Here's some detail on the leaves. Some detail on the fruit. Just to refresh, summer and winter. Leaf arrangement, leaf information, leaf type, fruit information. Plant number six for a variety showing the summer, autumn, and winter shots of plants in this particular genus. Keep in mind that many, some of these are identified down to the genus level, not the species level. They're going to list that in the key. This picture gives you quite a bit of information that shows information on leaf arrangement, leaf bud arrangement. The circled area gives you quite a bit of information that helps you determine leaf type, interestingly enough. And here's some more information. Again, the circled area is critical to determine based on characteristics of leaves. And you'll notice that this is the area along that one axis. And notice the structures are lack thereof in this particular area. And here's some information on the fruit. Leaf arrangement information that shows not only leaf arrangement and things like that, but gives you more detail on the leaves and more detail on the leaves and take and now we're going to show a close-up along up along in here in the next shot. So that's a close-up. That should be enough information to determine 
characteristics of the leaf, type of leaf you have, arrangement, and so on. Plant number seven, summer, autumn, winter. Leaves and fruit. Details on the arrangement of leaves. Details at the bottom on the leaves. To review, summer, autumn, winter, fruit and leaves, details on leaves and on leaf arrangement. <coughs> Plan number eight, summer and winter. Remember this is a genus now, so it's not one species, so they're different, but gives you information on this particular genus. Details on the leaves again, where the arrows are pointing individual leaves. Here and here, and there's one here, and so on. Fruit information, immature on the left, mature on the right. Again, summer and winter shots, leaf detail. Fruit information. And the final plant in the series to identify using the key. This one's showing the shoots of the plant that should give you a lot of information about everything from the leaves and also about uh, the type of plant it is. There's some clues here. And this shot gives you a lot of information about the fruit information that gives you a lot of information to help you identify it. And these kinds of plants, these structures are very, very important in identification. Just to refresh, don't even have to show you a whole plant, you should be able to identify it on your key. Shoots, detail. fruit detail. Okay, basically that's the key. What I will do then, uh, at some point in the future, I'll also post the answers on the ANGEL site, or I can also email them to you. So we will work that out, and uh, you will be provided with the answers at some date, date in the future. <coughs>